but they will have little patience if we allow politics to get in the way of action. And our economy continues today. We simply can't afford to perpetuate a system in Washington where politicians and bureaucrats make decisions behind closed doors with little accountability for the consequences. This weekend is a time to get together with family and friends, kick back, and enjoy a little time off. In a little over 100 days, this Recovery Act has worked as intended. Of course, this is little comfort to anyone who saw their job disappear in July and to the millions of Americans who are looking for work. And I these are only the most recent signs that the economy is turning around, though these signs are little comfort to those who've experienced the pain of losing a job in the previous month or in the previous two years of this recession. And comfort to all our neighbors who remain out of a job. And my solemn commitment is to work every day in the that makes the tour just a little bit easier. Every American can do something to support our troops. They just need a little help securing the financing they need to get off the ground. Warren Buffett himself once described derivatives bought and sold with little oversight as financial weapons of mass destruction. That's why, through reform, we'd help ensure that these kind of complicated financial transactions take place on an open market. It was a little more than one year ago that our country faced a potentially devastating crisis in our auto industry. Form into law. And while it'll take some time to fully implement this law, throughout Michigan, an advanced battery industry is taking root that will power clean electric cars. An industry that produced only 2% of the world's advanced batteries last year, but will now be able to produce as much as 40% in a little over five years. That if you're one of the millions of Americans who lost your home, your job, or your savings as a consequence of the recession, this news is of little comfort or value. By putting more money in people's pockets and helping companies grow, we're going to see people being able to spend a little more we're going to spur hiring. We're going to strengthen our entire economy. As we close the books on one year and begin another, I want to take a moment today to wish you a very happy new year and to talk a little bit about the year that lies ahead. This is a tax cut that is already making Americans' paychecks a little bigger and giving businesses more incentive to invest and to hire. Through these and other steps, by a little more than a decade from now, we will have cut that by one-third. I don't think it's right to ask seniors to pay thousands more for health care or ask students to postpone college, just so we don't have to ask those who have prospered so much in this land of opportunity to give back a little more. They want to know that if they work hard and live within their means, 